The camera is broken because uh, last time, if you remember yesterday, uh, my character dropped it while chase while escaping from some guys. So now basically the camera is broken in one uh, spot. Whoa! You hear that? That's so annoying. Kitchen! Maybe I'll get myself a snack or something. Okay, or guns or whatever. Um, oh, you're praying, how cute. Well, I guess after shit happening like crazy shit like that happening. A lot of people get, get religious just to explain to themselves what the fuck is going on, right? So the camera is getting some static also from time to time, which is also weird. Yeah, they are like, oh, we're so religious now. We don't want to kill you, we just want to pray. Okay, if you want to pray, it's okay. Another battery, yay! Mm, what did we get? The Gospel of Judah. I am an unworthy supplicant who can serve our Lord only by feeding our Lord. Please take me, Wall Rider. Let my shepherds, apostles, set, see it and spread it with his life for a greater truth. You t your time upon the world has come. My flesh longs for your bo beautiful rod. My blood is filled with you and wait and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. Yeah, kinda like a crazy person. Okay, so I cannot... Can I? No, I cannot go here, so I have to go through that window that I saw. Somewhere here. I want to explore. Yep. Window jumping time. Yeah, this even looks so crazy to do something like that. How does he keep balance? Would you keep arms in on a like, ledge like that? I wouldn't. God hates sickness. Okay. So 
So God is kind of a dick if he hates sickness, to be honest. God hates money. Okay, that's a bit smarter. Oh, the, the two fuckers. Diego the Demon Hunter, are you a demon? No, I am not. Is it some kind of uh, troll day today? Earlier we had the Witch Slayer who wanted uh, people to kneel uh, in front of him. Now we have Diego the Demon Slayer who wants to My hunt for demons, I, fe I feel, right? You alone shall escape the tower. This is your penultimate act of witness. <sighs> The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. <laughs> and, and here it is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. <laughs> and together we will be free. You are not in any danger. I fix the order. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be Yeah, this is some crazy fucking shit right here. This was just fucked up, man. Mm. I hate religious people. They're so crazy. If you will try to kill me, both of you, fuck you. I'm closing this door and stay there and get the fuck away from me. I hate those fuckers. Yeah, I know it's a class from Diablo 3, I play Diablo 3. But you ask if I'm a demon, and I am not. Kinda obviously, right? No, no big guy, no! Sees me? Yeah, he sees me. Ah, so where am I supposed to run from him here, huh? Mm. Okay. Let's let's try. No, not here. Ah, it's just for character, okay, okay. It's just uh, like 5 minutes before you, before you came, or 10 minutes before you came, I had a viewer called the Witch Slayer, and he uh, came here saying, I am the Witch Slayer, kneel, you peasant. Uh, and I thought that maybe you're trolling like him, or maybe you're the same person trying to troll. Okay, so I have to go...
Come on, come on, come on. Come on, here, 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 close, close. No, not this door, no, no, no. Not this door, no. Run, 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 run. Oh. Fuck you, fat fuck. That guy is so scary. <laughs> I'm not saying you are uh, the witch slayer, it's just that I thought that maybe you are the same guy. John Snow, damn the camera broke, now I uh, can't have good video of Mindy dressing up. <laughs> yeah. The camera will bra broke, uh, break even more later, if I remember correctly. The camera will get fucked up even more, I think. Okay. Elevator! We are going to freedom, right? We are gonna be able to get out of here, right? 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 No! No! We are going down, even more. Hmm. Yep, that would be just too perfect. That would just be too fucking perfect. New objective, find another way out. Like, we found even one way out, to be honest. We didn't even find one way out. Whoa. Ah, because it's white. Everything is white, so night vision doesn't work here at all. Okay. Nope, you will stay, yeah, exactly. The game is like, oh, you thought it's over, nope. Welcome to more. Getting wrecked by huge things. Hmm. Okay. Am I missing something? Yeah. Did I turn around? Oh, I turned around. I went to the wrong side. You wonder if this fat pigman had mother issues? Yeah, he had a lot of issues. He had a lot of issues. Ripping people's heads off? Yeah, definitely means that you have a lot of issues. Or if his father threw wine bottle at him. <laughs> uh, um, no, this is not the whistleblower. This is the main uh, game. I'm going to be playing whistleblower after the main story. So first the normal outlast and later uh, whistleblower. Because whistleblower is basically a prequel that happens that ends after the base story. So I, I think the best way of playing the game is the regular way of playing the f base game first and later playing uh, and later playing uh, the DLC. Yeah, you missed the uh, the doctor's part. Well, no, you missed the. Um, the priest part. Oh yeah, and the crazy doctor 
was yesterday. The crazy doctor was yesterday, so you missed that also a bit, yeah. But this part is... Uh, this part is even worse, so don't worry about that. Um, I don't remember if there are any batteries here or not. I don't think so. This is the part with ghosts, and even though I am not afraid of ghosts as much as crazy people, um, it, it just requires you to run a lot, and it's scary overall. The Passion of Father Martin. I didn't read this uh, note, so I can't believe Father Martin one up to Jesus Christ himself in shitty ways to die and I don't believe I'm going to miss him a way out if he's telling the truth now I've got a way out and story and a story to tell he wants me to spread his gospel yeah like father Martin did want you to tell the whole story I feel fuck 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 whoever finds my code trust no one and tell everyone I am not crazy I know I know only crazy people say that but I am as sane as this world allows with a camera full of evidence don't call it a gospel call it a mockery of reason let the world know it is Markov's fault bury these bastards with my uh, mutilated dead body project wall rider postmortem prepara uh, preparatory report uh, blah blah blah. Uh, my 14th autopsy of Wall Rider patient showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell mig migration and morp morphogenesis, uh, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. So tired, dubbing my judgment, will submit another request for leave. The psychologist, uh, psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoke patients is more than I feel I can handle. Uh, may suggest hanging less hope on a far flung theories of a sentinel Nazi and move forward using a simpler mechanics engine based on made your sperm protein. Sperm protein? Okay. A mark of security killed patient 921 uh, after he overcame enough tranquilizer to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints. Yep. So that kind of tells us how some of the crazies are so strong, by the way. You're playing Headstone, Milka? And raging like a Polish... All the t like a Polish person all the time, that's cool, I guess. Rage like me, bro, rage like me. Well, I guess he doesn't have a smartphone because it would be too good, uh, too easy for the story. He could just call someone. Way out, way out. Uh, when you see things like this, the music even changes uh, to give you hope. But there is no hope in this game. There is no fucking hope in this game. There is only death, decay and body parts. Morphogenic engine. We even got a fucking recipe for it. Not this. The pride of wisdom. From the personal records of Dr. Warnick, Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus by Mary Scheel, published uh, anonymously in 1818, chapter 23. Men, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Thief, you know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and disturbed and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Okay. 
just the morphogenic engine, a few lines of mathematics and algorithm. Reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories, a few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a uh, hexa and a few hours along with Dr. Warnicke's corpse. I felt I owe him a debt. <laughs> There is always hope. Not in horror games. In horror games, I feel uh, in good horror games, I feel they should dangle hope in front of you like a carrot on a string, but they should uh, chunk it out of your face, from your face, as soon as, uh, as often as they can, to make you feel that you will die. Aren't horror games supposed to be like that? Isn't this where I will be running from a ghost? Yep, this is where a ghost is gonna be chasing me. Fuck that! No? No? Run, you bitch! Can you jump over that? Thank you. God, he has to stop every time I'm trying to jump over something. Hello, Fatso! Little, little piggy, no escape. And we see the ghost! By the way, this is the ghost. Be a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, this is the one of the most fun things that happen in the game. The fat guy is dead. This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching you marrows scattered on a uh, concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I uh, somehow hope you didn't find another. Yep. Poor fat guy. Yeah, poor fat guy. Poor fucking Manaka. I almost died there. Come on. I could have died there. Fuck the fat guy. So I cannot go there, huh? So I have to... Okay. He just missed his mother. <laughs> I'm a fat guy, so yeah. And even I'm a fat guy and I didn't like that other fat guy, so that should tell you that that was not a cool fat guy. Motherfucker, you're still alive. Must 
Beam me up, Scotty. This is madness. Yeah. Kinda. So yeah, this guy is alive after God know how long. Thanks. 